All those years of hard work and year-round training paid off. Both Leif and Nicholas were named collegiate All-Americans, just like their father. Now they keep a tally of who holds the record in the different throws. Yeah, my dad has the shot put record, I have the discus record, Leif has the hammer record. I do have the javelin record, barely. <laughs> it doesn't count. It doesn't count because we, we don't really throw the javelin. javelin but I still feel the javelin the farthest. Uh, and lifting, my dad still has quite a few of the records, but I mean, that was a, the 70s. There were different times back then. In my prime, yeah, I would have killed them. No, they are better than I was. Bo yeah, they both are. Uh, how does your PR rank with their PR? I, ha I still have the best PR in the shop by one centimeter. Oh, no. <laughs> That's that much. And, and uh, Niklas is behind me. And Leif, he can do it maybe if he eats more Wheaties. That one centimeter is still a bit of a sore spot for Nick. I remember the measurement coming up and it, and it you know, read 19 meters 91 and I remember being like, I mean it was a huge PR for me. I broke my PR by like three feet when I threw that throw and I remember being so excited and then I remember being like, wait, what's my dad's PR? And I remember being like, 1992, I'm like, oh. So I mean, it, it, was, it was fun for him. I mean, it was, I'm, I mean, I'm glad I threw the throw, but I remember when it came up just thinking, oh my gosh, I'm only one centimeter away. Though he couldn't catch his dad in shot put, his skills in discus took him to the 2008 Olympics to compete for his father's home country, something Anders barely missed out on. Uh, I love going over there and competing for them, but especially just, I think it builds a better bond between me and my father, I guess, that I, you know, I kind of followed in his footsteps and competed for Sweden. Well, I was a member of the Swedish Olympic team in 72, but I got injured about a week and a half, two weeks before. So I never participated. Inflamed wrist. My wrist was inflamed. I couldn't. I couldn't hold the shots. So. We aren't here. Leif too has set his sights on the Olympics, but will he compete for Sweden? That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> um, it's four years away. Then I'll decide. Anders believes if that's what Leif wants, there will be no stopping him. This guy is the limit. He is unbelievable talent. It's up to him. Nicholas remembers when he knew his little brother would be a strong competitor. Your junior year, so like my last year when I was on my mission, he just had a really breakthrough year, you know, through 209 feet in the discus, and I remember getting that message and just being blown away, just thinking, are you kidding me? You know, as I'm reading this and like telling my companion, my brother just threw 209, and he's just like, what? You know, he didn't understand what I'm talking about. I'm like, I can't believe this. And so that was probably the first time I realized that Leif, you know, he's gonna be something. For the Iranius clan, throwing is more than just a sport. It's something they share as a family. It unifies them. Well, I think just because in you know, our family, that's all we've really done our whole lives is just throwing. <laughs> we all, <laughs> I mean, we're all there. They, we go to all the meets together. Like my mom and my sister have been really supportive too. Um, you know, they sacrifice a lot in order to have us uh, succeed and stuff. We got our Nick's wife also. So, I mean, it's just a big family thing. This is what we do, and we all support each other and sacrifice and do what we can to make us better. I really, I mean, if, if someone's gonna break any records I'll have, I'll, I mean, I'd love, want it to be my brother. I mean, keep it in the family. And... While the Iranius brothers' athletic accomplishments are innumerable, their father is most proud of who they've become. The way they handle themselves, uh, the things they have accomplished, not only, well, not only athletically, but they're just good, good, solid, Solid people. I mean, I, I love it. Uh, track is secondary, but uh, the fame has not gone to the heads. They are just down to earth and uh, great kids.